Guys, I just showed up to Horner's house, Waylon Horner, and his tree is absolutely, this thing is out of control. I was barely able to park here. This thing's, it's a jungle right here. How are people supposed to walk on the sidewalk without doing this? <laughs> oh, dang, this one, Dude. I don't know. Yeah. This one's crazy. Can I cut some? Yeah. You want you want me to hold the, the GoPro? Yep. Dang, this is like a... I'd watch this movie, actually. Cutting this is just, just a movie of you cutting <laughs> the tree? The sun coming through these trees is real nice. Oh, that was Whoa. sick. Whoa. <laughs> The corner room. Real intimate. Well, thanks for cleaning up in the studio for the studio visit. What oh, you think I did? <laughs> <laughs> you think I did? <laughs> this, is set, this is set up. I got a table yeah. ready to go. You think that table was just clear and everything, everything else was just. No, like no, this? no. Yeah. Let's let people know what's going on here. Well, it's a multi-layered plexiglass piece. You can kind of you can see through it. That's what's up. Would you? Oh, I'm just gonna stand here. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> What'd you use on that? What do you got going on so far? What are we working with? We got plexiglass. Well, okay. So first step was, uh, you know, taking the plexiglass rough it up on the back, you know, sand it, and then uh, do like the outlines of this stuff. Uh-huh. And then- Here, uh, bring, it, bring it over here and talk about yeah. it. So yeah, first uh, the outlines, and then uh, doing the cell shading. Um, yeah, so you do the highlight color, and then you do the, the darker color second, and just layer and this it. This is all reversed, right? Yeah, so it's, yeah, it's reversed. So you can see what he's talking about. And then the uh, the iceberg, I, actually, I painted that on a separate piece of uh, what is it like an acetate sheet? It's basically I, I painted that and glued it on because I didn't want to do the cell shading with it. Yeah, I just I glued it with a uh, Super Seventy Seven spray. After all that, then I did uh, uh, on top. I shaded it with. Uh, airbrush just to get that like bluish tint so that's just kind of like a, a color test so you can see like these are the, these are the colors the next step is to kind of do like all this stuff up here what kind of paper is this that's just a map board you know it's uh is this another test yeah this is just a little test just a little test run you know for a different painting yeah. I think it's it's a good thing to do, you know, sometimes you have a sketchbook for drawings, but uh, sometimes you gotta do, just get loose with your paintings and, you know, just make stuff that's solely for experimentation and, uh, you know, just kind of throw it around, don't have to worry about finishing it, figure out what works, and then you also figure out what doesn't work is pretty pretty valuable so anyways yeah then the, the next step after kind of doing a layer of uh, blue transparent over that then this is just all solid up here this is solid paint I masked it off masked off the bottom and then uh, just painted some painted some ocean like stuff some water this is just another you know just more testing you know, got a lot of, uh, a lot of extra time. This is just, uh, this is just a rough, a rough test right there. Would this you... is, I think this, this was just to kind of like, for me to figure out the order of operations. This is a drawing I started a couple days ago. Squash. And graphite. Wash and graphite. Wait a second, dude. If you're gonna be doing stuff, I'll videotape you. <laughs> Ow. Ah. 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 
okay, buddy? Yeah. Not too much. Catch you in action. What right. you got going on? These are my new paints I just got. These are these are golden high flow acrylics. Um, formerly known as, uh, I believe they were marketed as airbrush paints, but then you know they decided that calling them high flow acrylics is more marketable because they I and mean, actually you can use them in a lot of applications, including brush, pen, airbrush, or even uh, paint markers. I like them because the pigment load is extremely high, but the viscosity is very thin. Um, I, I work in a, a lot of thin paints, so it works out for me. And plus, I airbrush, of course. You say it. Oh, say what you're gonna say. What's I see going your mouth. on? What, are we gonna just pour that straight into that, or what? Uh, I yeah. might actually be pouring just some ultramarine, ultramarine blue. It's brand new. Has been used. Basically, basically at the very end of my other bottle of ultramarine. All right, so the the top just peels off, but it actually doesn't. <laughs> <laughs> it just leaves a little film that's impossible to tear off. Is that I don't, they're all like that? Yeah, mostly. Oh, let's see. That's kind of annoying. Oh shit! Get it! Get it! <laughs> you missed the hell? mouse. Who was doing what? I guess it went under there. I put it in that hole right there on the side of the dishwasher. Okay. Huh. She's just gonna camp out there probably all night. Pretty much. Staring at it. I thought that was a bat or something. <laughs> it's like, fuck, we left the back door open and a bat flew in here. <laughs> Take a little knife and whack it off. I was asking about this. Would you let it fill up for the day? And then. <clears throat> You're kind of able to ride the wave of that pressure for a long time. You can, yeah, you can ride it for quite a while. Like I, I usually, uh, I usually turn once it's filled up, I turn it off. And do you release the air when you're done, or you kind of just let it chill in there? I let it chill. I don't, I don't follow proto. You know, I think you're you're supposed to release the air, but um, I don't do that. Um, I add a little bit airbrush medium to this. So just thin it out just a little bit you know enhance the the transparency right. yeah see it it's like it still has like so much in it I just blast it with this a lot and then I'll go back with the lighter color and hit that this is my cleaning process. I just spray into it, try to get as much paint out as possible, and then spray it out into my Powerade bottle. Who, who am I even talking to right now? Am I talking to Daniel? Am I talking, talking to the fans? Am I talking to you? <laughs> you like that, huh? No. I'm trying. I'm trying. I'm. I'm. I'm trying no, to talk to you, Daniel, but I'm also trying to talk to you in a. A, a different sort of context like this you're doing a great job like you don't you know we we have a shorthand between us mm -hmm. so i can i can skip words i can skip entire ideas <laughs> and you just no, get it i know you just get it i know what you're saying no i know i know that i didn't have to say that <laughs> give that why don't you give that a whiff smell inside of it Smells like, smells like farts. <laughs> I farted earlier. No, oh, I'm just kidding. No, no, it just has like a really bad smell. I, I guess the acrylic paint, mildews. Oh yeah, that does smell like old acrylic paint. Yeah. Kind of starts smelling like eggs. It kind of smells like weird, like chicken soup. Well, I'm just mixing up a little bit of a light blue color. I'm gonna give it a few spurts of water. It has a little perfume diffuser. It works really good for adding a small amount of moisture to something. Like it's good for 
you know, spraying on your palate just to keep it wet, but not making everything a watery. Would you use on that just thalo and white? Yeah. Yes. Yeah. I'm going to I'm going to run just a little bit of this uh, airbrush cleaner through it. I think it it just kind of helps. This is good for it's it's really meant for like in between colors. I don't know what it does, but it kind of it works magically. I don't know. I don't know why. It just works nice. It doesn't really like fully clean it but it just kind of helps paint flow through it yeah sometimes using just like a straight pigment you know it can create very nice vibrant effects but it also can kind of fuck shit up pretty badly I don't know, like you can see you see those fingerprints look oh I saw them when I was down yeah. there that's why it's all is that for you or me I don't know. Did you touch it? I don't know. I don't <laughs> no, think it's probably so. no, it's probably me. The wet. Well, something. you know, we could really find out who it was. We got it on camera. We got, no, we got it. We got fingerprints. <laughs> <laughs> Do a little uh, CSI. A little fingerprint analysis. CSI. I guess you would consider me a kind of a beginner airbrusher. Um, I don't. I don't have all like the really hot techniques. I think uh, I'm decent, halfway decent at it because I understand color and you know I know I know how to use color. I think that's probably probably helps me out a lot. And uh, I know how to mask and stencil stuff, and I know how to mix paint. So uh, that's all you really need to know how to do with airbrush to get some good results. Uh, I can barely, I can freehand a little bit, do a little bit of freehanding, but it, it usually doesn't look very good. Alright guys, it's, uh, it's 2.30 in the morning, we're wrapping things up for the night, for the morning. We did a little off camera bullshit and you know, just talking off camera. You know, just secret, secret conversation stuff that secret. is too hot for the camera. Yeah. A little too hot yeah but maybe will be uh, more videos in the future we hope you enjoyed this this vlog style video kind of a studio visit sort of thing with Waylon Horner yeah I, the, I didn't uh... excuse me it was a great he's a great artist he's an artist I looked up to for a long time I used to work under his wing and we're still good friends to this day and uh, as you can see, he's, he's a heavy hitter. I just wanted to show you guys real quick. This piece right here is a, another plexiglass painting that he's working on, but he's making a process video of it. He's in, it's in the works. And this is a sneak peek real quick. We got some weird stuff going on. There's going to be some weird stuff. But anyways, you guys can follow him on Instagram. I'll put a link in the description. And uh, stay tuned with this guy. He's a heavy hitter, underrated Sacramento artist. We'll see you guys. See you guys soon.